Hi students, welcome in chemistry classes. I am Priyanka Jain and you are watching the new playlist of Thermodynamics. Here we are covering all the lectures from the basic state to the CSIR net level. And also we will solve the questions that has been asked in the CSIR net as well as in the GET exam. Okay, so let's start the lecture. Okay, today's lecture is about the modes of the energy transfer. There are basically two modes of the energy transfer. One is called work and another one is called heat. Okay, actually first of all understand what is energy and how it is being transferred. Suppose we are seeing a system. Okay, this is a system. Okay, this is a gas cylinder and this is filled with a gas and here is a piston of rubber fitted here. Okay. We can move this piston, okay, and the gas is filled inside it. Whenever there is a gas, it will have different type of the energies. This energy is due to rotations, due to translations, due to vibrations. So, this whole thing makes its internal energy, okay. Now, this internal energy of the gas can be changed by two different modes. If we have to transfer energy to this system, okay, we want to give energy to this system or we want to take energy from the systems. How we can do it? Actually, the energy is transferred between the system and surrounding by two modes. These two modes are called work and heat. Okay. Suppose if you want to transfer money to the anyone, suppose you want to give money to your friend, how you can transfer it? You can either give it cash or you can give it check or Paytm, you can use debit card, anything you can use and you can transfer money to your friend. Okay. So, these all modes are called the mode of money transfer. Similarly, if we want to transfer the energy to this system, okay, this is system and this is surrounding. Okay, this is surrounding and this is system. So, if we want to exchange the energy between the system and the surrounding, there are two different ways for transferring it. One mode, one mode is called work and another mode is called heat. Okay, so these are the mode of the energy transfer. One thing you should note here that these two modes work and heat does not depends on the state. These does not depend upon state of the system. So, these are not the state function. Actually, these depends upon the path. So, we will call them these are the path function. Okay, these are not the state function. These are path functions. So, one question, a two mark question you have been asked that work and heat is either a state function or path function. So, we will say that these two are the path functions. One thing is clear. Now, understand firstly about the work. What is work and what is the sign convention for work in the thermodynamics? Okay, first of all, understand what is work. Work is to achieve motion against an opposing force. A simple example is the process of lifting a weight against the pull of gravity. Okay. In your hand, you have a ball and you are picking it up against the gravity. This is called the work. Okay. So, work has been done if it can be used to raise a weight somewhere in the surroundings. An example of doing the work is the expansion of gas. Okay, suppose this is the piston, okay, and we have to move it outwards, okay, we want to move it outward. See here, here is our piston, okay, and we want to push it outside, it means we want to increase its volume. Now the piston can come here, this will be its second position, okay, this is moving to outward side. It means the gas is pushing, the gas is inside. So, this gas is pushing this piston outward. Okay. So, this thing is called expansion. Gas is expanding. This is called the expansion. Okay. So, this is also a type of work. It means expansion work. This we will call expansion work. Whenever the expansion is done, what is done? The work is done by the gas. Okay. In expansion, work is done by the gas or we can call it by the system. Work is done 
by the system on the surroundings because our gas is pushing this piston outward it means it is doing work so work is done by the gas or by the system and on the surrounding so expansion work is done by the gas and on the surrounding first thing is clear okay now see its sign convention whenever expansion work is done this piston will go outside okay so the volume will increase and whenever the volume will increase the internal energy will decrease internal energy decreases in expansion okay and one thing you should note here whenever the internal energy decreases we take a negative sign okay so we can say that in the expansion work we take a negative sign negative sign is used whenever we will see the expansion work it means whenever work is done by the system on the surrounding then there will be negative sign because the internal energy of the system decreases similarly see the compression work how the compression work happens compression work means whenever the piston is moved inwards it means suppose see again this is the system okay this is piston now whenever we are moving it inward okay we are moving it inward so now its new position will be like this okay so this is moving inward it means volume is decreasing volume is decreasing and the pressure is put from the outward it means from this side this pressure is done from this side and this is done on the gas it means we can say that in the compression work work is done on the gas or we can say work is done on the system by the surrounding right and whenever the compression happens the internal energy will increase in this whole process of compression internal energy will increase and whenever the internal energy increases the sign will be positive okay so in the compression work whenever the work is done on the gas or by the surrounding on the system then we take a positive sign because our internal energy is increasing it means temperature is increasing right now see another mode of the energy transfer is heat the second mode of the energy transfer is called heat suppose there is a difference of temperature of the system and its surrounding okay this is our system its temperature is high suppose its temperature is high and it's outside here the temperature is low okay so what will happen can you imagine what will happen there is high temperature inside this system and outside the system there is low temperature so what will happen the energy or the heat will move from the inside to the outside so energy will move outside it means we can say heat is evolved so whenever there is a temperature difference then the energy of the system can be changed by the transfer of heat for this the boundaries should be diathermic actually see here there may be different type of boundaries according to the transfer of heat on the basis of transfer of heat boundaries may be of two type one type is called diathermic boundaries and another type of the boundaries are called adiabatic boundaries okay this term you will see in the exam so diathermic boundaries which allows the transfer of heat it means from such type of boundaries the heat can go outside or inside but adiabatic boundaries means which do not allow transfer of heat it means from such type of boundaries heat can not transfer okay so whenever the boundaries are diathermic then in this case the heat can transfer either outside or inside so heat can be used as a mode of the energy transfer for example if you see the exothermic reactions okay whenever you see exothermic reactions in these type of reactions the heat is evolved q is evolved okay while if you see the endothermic reactions in these reactions the heat is absorbed okay heat is absorbed so what will be the sign convention when you are seeing the heat transfer see here what will be the sign convention as i have told you that whenever the internal energy increases 
the sign will be positive so when we give the energy okay so suppose when we are giving the heat to the system when we are giving it heat what will happen the internal energy of the system will increase okay when heat is given to system when the heat is given to system then internal energy will increase because the temperature is increasing so the internal energy will increase and when the internal energy increases the sign will be positive second point whenever the heat is evolved from the system okay see so it is heat is being evolved then in that case you know whenever the heat is evolved the internal energy will decrease and i have told you earlier then whenever the internal energy decreases the sign will be negative so this is the basic sign convention behind heat and work now see the basic differentiation between the heat and the work see here i am making here a diagram this is our system okay and the piston is fitted here okay so whenever the work is done okay whenever the work is done suppose the piston of the cylinder is pressed outside in this manner okay it means gas is doing work on the surrounding system is doing work on the surrounding it means there is expansion work okay so what will happen the molecules of the surrounding come in motion these molecules that are present in the surrounding that will come in motion but they comes in motion in a ordered way in this manner okay there will be a ordered motion in these cases because the work is done linearly okay so we can say that the work is the mode of energy transfer which induce orderly motion in the surrounding okay so work induce orderly motion in the surrounding now see what is doing in heat see here another system and here we are providing the heat to the system as a result of this heat what will happen the gas molecules that are present here that will come in motion because the heat is given to us so the temperature of the system the temperature of the system will rise up okay and its internal energy will increase okay so internal energy increases so these molecules will do random motion as a result of this the molecules of the surrounding will also do the random motion so as a result of the heat we can say heat will induce random motion so in the case of work the transfer of the energy is done in a orderly motion while in the case of heat the transfer of energy is done in a random motion okay this is the basic differentiation between the heat and the work okay now we comes to the second point heat and work we have done now we are seeing the second thing that is thermodynamic properties what are thermodynamic properties actually thermodynamic properties are those properties which defines the state of the system so basically the thermodynamic properties are temperature pressure volume internal energy enthalpy gibbs free energy work function these all are called the thermodynamic properties but there are some properties which does not define the state of the system okay so these are called the non thermodynamic properties non thermodynamic properties means to say which does not defines the state of the system okay so these are called non thermodynamic properties and the two non thermodynamic properties are work and heat because these are the path function okay now see the classification of the thermodynamic properties first of all thermodynamic properties can be classified on the basis of the measurement some of the properties are directly measurable these are the properties that we can directly measure so these are called directly measurable properties these are pressure volume and temperature some of the properties are indirectly measurable it means we cannot directly measure them okay for measuring them we will have to use some formulas so these are called indirectly measurable these are two type of properties one first one are the fundamental properties fundamental properties are the properties that are derived from law of thermodynamics 
and second type of the properties are the derived properties actually these properties are not given from the law of thermodynamics these are derived afterward so these are called the derived properties these are enthalpy gives free energy and work function and these fundamental properties are entropy and internal energy now see here this pvt and s okay these pv p v t and s these are called the coordinates or these are called the variables but this u h g and a u means internal energy h means enthalpy g means gives free energy and a means work function these are actually all are the form of energy these are the type of energy so these are called potentials so these pvts are the coordinates and u h g a are the potentials okay so actually in our next video we will have to study about these relations there are thermodynamic relations between these coordinates between these potentials and between the coordinates and potentials okay so there are several type of the relations like the thermodynamic equation of states like maxwell relationships non maxwell relationships and some fundamental relations okay so these all we will cover in our next video i hope you will like this video if you are liking the videos please comment me and please share the video with other students thank you